What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So to be honest with you, we forgot to do an intro to we this video. We were getting ready to start editing the video. We were on time and early and <laughs> we then forgot I said, to do an hey, intro. We forgot so, the intro. What's up? Happy 4th of July. Um, it's burning up. So I hope you guys are on the lake, in a pool, having a cookout, whatever. We're we're in the shop losers. today. Losers, we have no friends. So. <laughs> but I guess stay tuned to see what we got brewing today in the shop. And uh, yeah, I guess it's this... been an exciting video. Yeah, so check it out. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys at the end of it. He is making a list and checking it twice. All right, it is 4th of July and we woke up and we got more motivation than ever this weekend. And uh, we got some odds and end things we got to finish up on this car. It's just dumb, piddly stuff. But we are bound determined to drive this car July 4th. It's, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> we are driving this car. If it makes it to the end of the driveway, I would be tickled. So I'm making one last list of stuff this car has to have to make it down the driveway. I got a custom radiator hose that I've been making out of exhaust tubing and cut another radiator hose to make it fit to the lower radiator. Like I said before, when you build this custom stuff, you can't go to O'Reilly's and say, hey, I need a radiator hose for a 91 Mercedes with a tractor radiator. I mean, it just don't happen. So you gotta make stuff. And making stuff takes time because you gotta run back and forth and stuff like that. So I got that taken care of. Uh, we don't need the headlights working, but I did get the headlights wired up last night. The shifter cables in it or the shifter linkages in it dry shafts in it uh, hannah and i uh, bled the brakes last night it has brakes it is really close so if we put this radiator hose on it put some fluid in it i'm gonna get some more fuel uh it's it's right there so by the end of this video we might be driving the car Hopefully, we, uh, that's yeah. the plan. I don't care if it's midnight. We're driving this car down this driveway <laughs> tonight. I want to get it done just as much as you guys want to see us get it done. So let's uh, let's go to O'Reilly's one more time. All right, made it back from O'Reilly's. Hopefully that is the last trip. Hannah right now is working on the throttle cable. We got to do the throttle cable. I got the radiator hose on there, and uh, I'll flip you guys. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys kind of what we got going on right now. So Hannah's over here. Sure doing Hannah's being Jebediah over here. She's making clearance in the the throttle body I'm spacer. Trying. Or not the throttle body spacer, but in the throttle linkage, there is a rectangle piece of plastic that we're trying to get to fit in there. So here is the piece, and uh, she's trying to whittle away some of the material for it to clip. So that's what Hannah's got going on. I have to hook up the, the air dog and what I'm doing is the air dog needs a key, a key switch power to turn it on. So instead of putting something else on this orange wire, like uh, another accessory wire on this, what I'm gonna do is run a wire from here to this junction box I put there, and then I'll run it to this 3 8 lug on that junction box, and then this has uh, uh, little ports you can put some accessory wires on it. I just got that off Amazon. I like doing that because then you don't have a bunch of stuff on the ignition switch and it looks nice and clean up there. The airline, so that's the front, that's the back airline coming through. This is the front. I got to fix them up in there. This is the main line running to the, uh, that's from the tank to the front bag. And this one over here, down here is the back bag. Yes, you could tee them together, but for the look we're wanting, that's what we did. Here is the air switches that air the car up and down in the back. This is the air switch that airs the car up in the front. So there is that. Uh, the shifter, the shifter is out of a uh, grain truck. That is the, the bed hoist. It is, it is hooked up. You can hear it ratcheting. All I did on that is it's a piece of all thread, half inch all thread. It's got some clevises on that end and the end under here. You're looking for that piece? Oh, here it is. <laughs> you might need that but uh that's what we got going on right now it's getting really close so here within the next couple hours i think we'll be driving this thing out of here oh and the throttle cable or the throttle the throttle itself i need to get a light so you guys can see but i put the bracket 
out of the Mercedes in here. It sets on the, the little bulge out for the starter. So that's what we got going on there. Uh, of course, Willwood brakes. The Willwood master cylinders are up here, all copper line. Uh, the steering column's in it. Really, really close, guys. So we get uh, old Jebediah over here to get that on there, and we're about ready. I don't think it's going. It'll go. Look, this bolt right here, the nut. Well, it's... I guess the bolt. I can't hardly push it in there to see. We realize we're getting nowhere with the file in the metal over there. So then we got thinking, why can't we just file down the side? And the sides, will, I mean, obviously yeah, right they're... here, you're gonna need, um, I mean, that'll pull, but these weren't doing anything. Yeah. So now I feel like I'm going back to like a sewing class, going back to home ec. All right. Now we gotta go through that little tiny. You gotta go through it and through the, yeah, the cable little, itself. Yeah. So we picked this uh, braided throttle cable up at O'Reilly's and it is going to go through no, I, this hole down through there. Like one of the wires? It should be fine. It should feed through there. It ain't going to tear that thing up? No, you're good. Just feed your square through the square and then through the cable. Any luck? Well, it's not as good as There you go. There you go. So then uh, line up your square there and push it in. Let me come over there real quick. So should, if we pull this. Oh. There you go. So that is your throttle. Now we gotta run that through the firewall. And then once we uh, go through the firewall, we got to put the gas pedal on it, which I had the gas pedal. Oh, here's the gas pedal. So this is the Mercedes gas pedal. Ugly. Yeah, it is ugly, but we're going to dress it up and put a pad on there. But uh, that O'Reilly's kit came with this little um, eyelet, I guess you would say. My phone's trying to focus in on stuff. But now that throttle cable will go through that hole. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's a little fuzzy. I don't know why. But anyways, that goes on there. And... Uh, a little bit more. Help me. Well, me made my nails too long. <laughs> I get you a file for the car and you end up using it for your nails. Well, this is a better file than they. <laughs> You'll have that inside the house now. Yeah. Well, it's um, brand new. I did ask, you know, them. I said, go as short as you can. It was the first time I've had my nails done in like a year and a half. And it wasn't quite short enough. I don't think she wanted me to have really short nails. Corey is doing some last minute tightening and kind of second guessing everything <laughs> because, <it's> yeah, <laughs> we think and we hope it's ready. The only thing I know it needs now is antifreeze. I did tack well the, the hood from, it was going everywhere originally, so we tack well this, so I gotta take a grinder and cut this tack weld off. Flip the hood open. The antifreeze cap is right below the little mouse guy. So, honestly, I think it's ready. I mean, we're gonna start it up. It starts up. We gotta bleed the system again because we had the fuel lines off of it. We gotta bleed the system. Once it starts up, put antifreeze in it and hopefully put this thing in drive. We might clear the driveway because I don't know how this is going to go. Luckily, we have no neighbors in front of us. Worst case, we'll go through the bean field and we'll be owing the neighbor uh, that runs the field some uh, beans. Well, I'm so nervous. What's this wire going to do? <laughs> all right, so we just started the car, as you can see. All it's of the... a little smoky. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't want to let it run too long because we have no water or antifreeze in it. So we're headed to town, going to go ahead and get antifreeze just so later on we don't have to, you know, forget. And yeah, we could just put ready. water in it, but our luck will forget, <laughs> forget when it comes to December. So we are going to go ahead and get antifreeze, fuel, and food while we're in town. Yeah, so we got to get this car running long enough to bleed the power steering or the 
the front ram. So earlier in an, earlier videos, I guess I should say, we put hydraulic steering on this thing. Well, the power steering pump is here and we got to, uh, we were running transmission fluid in it. So we're trying to bleed the power steering. So that goes from there to the orbital valve and then on to the front ram here. So we got to bleed our lines, but in order for it to bleed, we got to keep it running. And it's lunchtime and I'm, we're so close, homie. We're, we're going to drive this thing today. Oh, yeah. If it's midnight, we're driving her. But all right, so uh, let's, I did get this cut loose and check this out. This thing, that was a mistake, but it looks like I knew what I was doing. It clears that filter perfectly. So, all right, where are we eating at? I'm not even hungry. I still, I get migraines real bad and I am dying today, but we have to get this. We don't have to get it done today, but I am ready. I am so freaking ready. So I'm out here dying, <laughs> but I'm just ready to be in this thing and driving it down the road right, or well, driveway. Driveway. All right. You guys are going to see it with us because we were going to just try to see if it would pull forward without recording but then again you know we want you guys to be part of everything too obviously as you can see we had a little bit of or a lot of it coolant leak. of a coolant leak but um we got that figured out and now we have raised the car up and we're about to see if she'll drive forward i'm really nervous right now we can't drive it far because we don't have the cooling fan hooked up which i could run 12 volts to it uh, we don't have a temperature gauge either. I could hook a temperature gauge up, but down the driveway and back, it shouldn't get hot. It does have antifreeze in the system now. Uh, I'm a nervous wreck. We just kind of wired the, the cooling fan wire and uh, the uh, temperature gauge wire up here on top, the fuel housing for now, just to get it up out of the way. <sighs> here we go. Let's see if it turns and pulls itself it might need fluid in it but we won't know that until we start it up and put it into a forward gear or a neutral so uh mm -hmm. i'm nervous <laughs> mm -hmm. all right let's let's try it okay worst case scenario put it in neutral Bolt the wheels down, I forgot. Okay, hold on. Okay, well, we forgot to put the lug nuts on the wheels. It might help us. I just told her that too. I said, we gotta bolt the wheels down. It only has three lug nuts on it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got the wheels bolted on. We're, I, I even had that on our checklist, like, don't forget to tighten the bolts. But then we got excited and forgot to tighten the wheel down because Hannah said, what we run over? I said. You didn't run over nothing, that was the wheel about to fall off. So the wheels are tightened up. We're uh, got the air compressor running, that's what you're hearing in the background, and airing up the front tires. And we are going to drive this thing for the first time. Well, if it makes it down the driveway, that, that's all that matters to me right now. We, we might, I, I don't know. If it makes it down the driveway, I know us, we'll end up going down the road, so. Got ready? Go uh, throw your seat in it. Well, I'll let you drive. I'm I don't look forward. You go ahead. Ah, I'm nervous, nervous. This is an awesome Fourth of July. Like this is it right here. Best Fourth of July ever. Really? We got the mouse trap running. 
Here we go. First time out of the shop. Right now, you're seeing it. This, 100% honest, this car has never driven out of the shop. 100%, you guys it are seeing it first. It has been rolled out. So, I am so nervous. I, mean, I got to pee and I didn't even have to pee. Uh, we live on a hill, if you guys all didn't know that. <laughs> and um, it's going to be all or nothing. We might end up in the bean field. I'm not sure. So, here we go. I hope not. I hope, yeah, me too. I'm walking to the end of the driveway with our tripod, that's what it's called. Um, we're gonna record on my phone. <laughs> Hopefully you don't see us flying past it because that means the brakes went out. <laughs> but I'm really excited and I cannot wait, which I am gonna let Corey drive just because I gotta pull it forward. And that was the first of several moves. All right, we're in the car, we are yeah packed I, in here like sardines as soon as i got in here and shut the door i said oh my this is tiny and that's what i said i'm like oh i forgot <laughs> give us some fuel there we go ah! Ah! we're rolling uh, okay. oh we're rolling oh. <laughs> we got brakes yeah, yeah. A little bit. Watch out, Look out back way. Way. Oh my gosh, we're rolling. I don't know what that clicking is. Could but... be my door, I don't know. Oh my homie. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's not my door. Something in the suspension's clicking. Well, we got yeah. brakes. Something's clicking, but... I have to figure that out, but that ain't gonna run my day right now. We're still gonna drive it. Wow. We're down the driveway. Are the lug nuts on the back? Tight? Yes, I tighten the lug nuts. Okay. Don't like that noise, but I I think it's a bolt hitting the body. Okay, don't take off yet. Let me throw it around. Oh, it's down here. This thing is literally echoing. <laughs> I don't know how because it's so tiny. You mean like this? Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe we're driving? No, I can't. Okay. Well, they're in that thumping noise. I know. So here we go. Well, we 
might be pushing it on the way back. I don't know. <laughs> it shifts a little weird. I don't know what that was. I think this thing is training for it. Oh. We, <laughs> we're just a beatbox. Turn that radio up. Oh, God. Stay here, hop out, and stay with the car in direct traffic. I back. am staying right here. Well, hop out. Why? In case somebody hits it. Well, test drive ain't good. Go good, it's broke down. <laughs> So apparently we need tranny fluid. <laughs> we made it from that mailbox to here. And we still have to go all the way up there. But hey, it's on the road. It's hot enough out here. Here comes Corey. <laughs> Coming to check on you? <laughs> yeah. Pull you. Uh, Man, these sweat bees. Uh, yes, put it on me if it's here. Uh, it's on you. <laughs> All right. It's out of training fluid. <laughs> it was slipping, so we went ahead and shut it off before we burned the transmission out. And uh, we really need the right wheels because these are our mock up wheels, and where the lug nut goes on the wheel is hollowed out. And we put some washers there just to get it going. Well, it, they worked themselves loose and the wheel's about to fall off because <laughs> we're impatient. I need to go get the other wheels. So that's what my other plan for this week is to go get the right wheels for it. We're going to put a quart of tranny fluid in this thing, tighten the wheel up, and uh, see if we can make it at least back in the garage. I'm happy. I'm not aggravated by no means. It's part of it. I'm just, I'm just glad it's, I'm glad it's out here broke down. Actually, it, that means well, we got to drive it. Yeah, it means we got to drive it and we know what we got to fix. <laughs> Manny, did you come to help? They didn't even know we were broke down. Roadside service. <laughs> there is someone coming through now. just be bopping down the road. <laughs> what you doing? would say our neighbor is coming to check on us <laughs> on his razor or whatever this thing is yep there they are <laughs> <laughs> yeah ah. 
We made it back to the driveway. Yes, there is tons of stuff left to do to this car. Like front wheels, we need, we need to go get the, the correct wheels for it. They got straightened and hopefully those wheels don't do what those wheels did just then. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, I'm hoping it drives a lot better because I do plan on driving this thing to work and wherever. Yeah, uh, if, the, if the new wheels that we get back, if they don't work out, we'll go ahead and have a set of uh, aluminum wheels custom built for this car. We have a suspension bolt hitting the body somewhere, which we did know that, but it's too hard to get under it. We're gonna have to wait till we load it up on the wedge trailer and get underneath of it and get some clearance issues from that uh, bolt. The bolt's just hitting some sheet metal. That's, that's all that noise is. I'm tickled to death. Some of you guys might say, you know, you guys might be aggravated that it only made it a quarter of a block, but it's a win for me. I think it looks cool as can be. I can't wait to be driving that thing down the road and get on it and be blowing smoke. I just cannot wait. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really close. Coming back. Hold on. Our neighbor's coming back to tell us. Nope. They ain't. They're not coming back. They ain't coming to tell us how cool the car is. Cause <laughs> Corey told them to go down and look at the other car. Yeah. So that's it. We're going to drive it back in the garage and just kind of go from there. <laughs> All right. Hannah's going to drive the mouse trap in and then, uh, <laughs> like a, a seat over here. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can tell it's Hannah's car already. It's got 13 water bottles in it. I am being very healthy. You look good in there, babe. <laughs> Man, this thing looks so cool. I'm so excited to have this thing out. Yeah. Fire up the time machine. Can't find the. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's exciting. That stinks. We gotta fine, fine tune some stuff now and then we're gonna go on a road trip. Heck yeah. Not in this video, but this is, it's a, uh, man, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait to be really going down the road in this I thing. I know it. All right guys, that's not the end of this video. We still got, we got, last week in the video, we said we had a special guest. Which we did. We had a lot of special guests yeah. actually over the weekend. Um, so we are one of them. We cannot post a video until he posts his video. So we'll go ahead and tell you who it was. It was Merlin Johnson. Merlin's old school garage. He was here yesterday, and our plan was to post the video that we did with him yesterday on Today. Wednesday's video. But we're He's gonna kind of, we're gonna kind of wait to post our video until he posts his video so we don't run his surprise for you guys or for his followers. So once he posts his video, we'll post our video and we'll link them all together. But in the meantime, Adam and his wife Chelsea, they came over, they brought their Lodestar and he just got his Lodestar done. It is really cool. Um, it's a 67 Cummins with a six speed manual. I mean, it is really cool. It looks kind of like Danny's that we had built. Um, but this guy found a body that was yeah, he, beautiful. I mean, hardly any rust. And, but he did a great job, so we will show you that clip now. Yep. I'm out here by the road, and uh, everybody driving by probably 
thinks I'm weird because I just stand here and uh, I'm just filming. But so yesterday was even worse. I was sitting up here on a lawn chair waiting, but that brings us to this video. I'm sitting out here for a reason. I'm waiting for a follower of the channel to show up. His name is Adam. He just completed his Lodestar build and he was in the area and said, hey, do you care if I swing in and show you my truck? Absolutely. So that's what we're doing. We got Minnie Weed out here. She's chilling. And uh, that dog's been everywhere. She's been running through the cornfield. She's just having a good old time. But Adam should be here really soon. Once he gets here, I'm going to have him show you guys his truck. We're just going to kind of go through it and uh, just kind of go from there and just have a good day. All right, so we're here with Adam. He just drove here and brought his, what year is this thing? 68. 68 International Lodestar. Man, this thing looks good. Isn't that cool? No way. I know, right? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he showed me that earlier. I'm like, man, that is a good idea. If I ever come up with, if I ever do that, I'll give you credit. 68 Lodestar setting on. An 04 Dodge 3500 chassis. That is awesome. I think we're really gonna check it out at that what a coal motor. I just love the fact that it's six feet. Is it it is six feet, yeah, right? Yeah. It's a six feet. Yeah. That is too that cool. That is so cool. Yeah, it is. That baby is in there. Shoo. Everything's you see everything's matched? Yes, I do. That's so cool. See, that's very nice. <laughs> How'd you match it? Uh, there was a company, Ohio Auto Color, that was in uh, Sydney, Ohio. And they uh, they had it for a couple weeks, but they, they were able to get pretty close. So what's the wheel spec on this thing? So Dually Kings, you said? Dually King. Uh, they reconditioned 24 fives, milled down and custom cut with the Mega Squares. And just the adapters and 305, 35, 24s. Yeah, we went through this earlier. I, yeah, yeah. I that's what it is. So. This thing is awesome. So, got the so he plated the back. I see, just kind of give it that semi fill to it, kind of square off the back of it. That looks good. Dry shaft should work, big enough. Got you an air dog. That's always good. This thing is so cool. So, you're down here with your camper. So you hauled your camper here with it. So you're obviously using the truck. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, how long has it been done now? About a month now? May 4th. May 4th, and then 4th this year. revealed it at UCC? Yep. That's UCC awesome. UCC was the first show it was at. Um, got a lot of attention there with it. Uh, built a kayak rack for it. Been hauling six kayaks down here in the toy hauler <laughs> this weekend, three hours. and That is awesome. Yep. At least you use it, and it, you know. Yeah, it got rained on a lot this weekend, too. So. The windshield wipers work? No. Wipers hey, say, work. say hand of the windshield wipers aren't working this either, so. <laughs> See, it's just... It, yeah, you're the you're the wiper. There's wipers in here. That's all you need right there. <laughs> this thing is really cool. So you basically bought a truck, a wrecked truck, right? Yep. And just pulled the body off and set the low star cab on it. Was it a dually originally? Yep. yep. It was a 3500 uh, four door long bed, uh, six speed. I didn't touch any suspension. It's all. I think it was lowered. It has lowering shackles on it, so I think it was lowered when I got it. Yeah. But I haven't touched any suspension or anything on it. It's all factory Dodge stuff. That's so cool. And it was pretty impressive. You were able to fit the everything under it, like the the factory Dodge radiator, intercooler, and everything under it, right? Yes. All yeah, that is awesome. Dodge stuff's in it. And for now, it still has all the nasty wiring and stuff in it. For for now, go standalone soon and get rid of all that stuff. But that's too cool. Yeah. They are super cool truck. How do you, do you got a lift and stuff at home to put it on there, a tractor or what? I got a Kubota tractor. I lifted the cab and everything off the Dodge yeah. frame and everything and even lifted this cab off and set it all on there. And I did build a wooden 
rack on wheels to roll the, the cab off the back and oh, back yeah. on because yeah i don't have a lift or nothing i gotta build the wife a truck now because now she's got to have something <laughs> what's so, she wanting i don't know i i thought about building her a 59 apache yeah to be honest or <laughs> that'd be cool uh and she wants it the same color so we'd paint it the same color as this so it'd be what? his and hers type of thing that'd be sweet um, i don't know i got lots of ideas of stuff i'd like to build but it yeah. takes time and money that is absolutely right. I mean, that, you did a killer job on it. It is so cool. Like, this thing's been all over the internet here lately. It's been blowing up. If you guys um, have seen it and didn't know whose it was, this is the man right here. I mean, this is awesome. Here's his uh, Instagram. You can find him on there. Keep up with this build. He's been pretty active on there, pulling his camper around. It's really cool to see another Lodestar modified and out on the road and I'm ready to hear this thing run. Let's, run? Yeah, let's hear it. So it does pretty good down the highway and stuff? Yeah. You got trailer brakes and everything. Fancy. <laughs> Yeah, I love the back of this truck. I, whenever you were sending me pictures of you building the back of it, I'm like, man, that looks so good. I mean, it looks like a big rig from yeah. the back end. It was awesome. Well, and the plate steel all came from a commercial job we were doing. They were literally throwing it all away. So You're like, free is I'm for like, me. I'll take it. We'll yes. Take it. Looks good. I, yeah. I like the diamond plate, and I like how you flatten the back off to make it give the semi vibe to right. it. I mean, yep. it is awesome. So Dooley King just these are like the the ovals, and then he just milled them all. Yeah, he is very yeah. uh, he's good. I Old. highly recommend him for yes. wheels. If anybody wants wheels, yes, he, he treated me awesome. He gave me a good cash price even on them. He was quick about them. I mean, I think only waited three weeks. Yeah, which I understand he gets backed up. Yeah. But but uh, he was running a good deal. I don't know if he still is on the reconditioned 24s. He's got a bunch of them. I think he just posted. I actually, those uh, Pete's I was telling you about for the van, those were, um, he had a deal running on them. And I was like, yep, those work. So, mm -hmm. oh thing looks sweet. So, what what size exhaust is that? Like eight? <laughs> They're eight inch eight, stacks. Eight yeah. inch stacks. I was really going to put sixes on it. And I looked to order some. And it's going to be. $2,500 for a set of stacks for it and I thought that's too much yeah no those and are I had an old trucker that had a set of sevens that were rough that were on a shelf yeah I was gonna go back and look at those and he said I just took the eights off my semi if you want them I'm like I don't know and he said I'll tell you what 100 bucks a piece you can have them yeah that's cheap so enough I brought they them look... home and set them next to the truck and I thought I made a mistake to be yeah. honest they look kind of big but with the wheels and the tanks it fits the truck it's crazy it like good. when you're starting to put something together like this it just kind of all starts coming together you're you, you know i think it's perfect so do you have a mechanical background or is this your first one or i honestly have never built much more than just some little stuff at home for my compact tractor like a drag or a snowplow brackets or yeah. stuff at work and i had some guys encourage me to build one they said you got the time you got some extra money laying around so i just bought two trucks and just started building and this is what it turned yep. into hey i wish there was a lot more people <laughs> Like yeah. that, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people are capable. They just don't think they are. So I would have never awesome. thought I could build something like this. Never. And yeah. just a little bit of time and just get some good people to give you some advice. And, you know, you can, you can build it. Yeah. It's rewarding too. Once you're done, like when you're building it, you're, you're thinking, you know, no one cares and stuff like that. But the first time you take it out is definitely worth oh, yeah. it. Ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. I was, awesome. I really didn't think this many people would like it and it blew up at UCC. And like Corey said, it's been all over the internet now. I'm pretty blown away with the type of traction it's getting. So, well, it definitely deserves it and you deserve it. Uh, I appreciate you coming out, man. Yep, thanks, thanks for, for showing it. Yeah. It's super cool, man. So I guess we're going to go hit up while you're here. Let's go. Uh, we're going to go to blue spring caverns. And then Hannah said ice cream, and I like ice cream. So ice cream you like good. ice cream? Heck yeah. So I guess uh, let's get these things out on the road. Hannah's taking her Viking. Adam's going to take his uh, load star with his wife, Chelsea. And I guess we're going to hit the road.
end of this video. We had a great time with Adam and Chelsea. We ended up going to Blue Spring Caverns after we got done talking about his truck. And it's hot enough right now. I'm about to say let's go back to that 60 degree K. No, Haley's got a pool. I think we might go swimming. I don't yeah. know. We're, it's it's hot. But before we go, we did get some gifts. Uh, we're gonna go grab them real quick, and we'll be right back. Yes, we keep forgetting, and one of them has been sitting there forever. And I don't I know if he's opened it, but I've I been wanting it. to. I haven't. He did it. open one without me, and um, Patrick, it was yours. He was excited. He knows that you know us, so um, we really appreciate that. And here's one. Go ahead and start. Oh uh, God. I'm not going to start without you. Well, go ahead, because i got to go get the other ones. Well, you can press pause. I don't even know how to open this. All right. This Anna's, is like medical tape. They really got this, baby. I don't even know if this is from a subscriber. It might be just something I ordered. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I think it's from a subscriber. I'm not for sure. But, uh, I know, someone's going to comment. You don't have a box knife? Well, I do, but the scissors were... Right there. They were honestly just right there on the floor. Where they go. Left them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. What is it? I have no idea. Let's see if we can rip it. There we go. I'll let you rip it. It is fragile. Is it a painting? Painting? I don't know. Unless Patrick, unless, is this from Patrick as well? I don't think so. From Darlene Phillips. That's not Patrick. <laughs> well, help me out, homie. Well, I don't know how to help you. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Hold on, Darlene. If you're watching, we're struggling. Yes, right we here. are. You are. Okay, that's cool. What is it? What is it? It's a picture of you in your truck. Oh, my gosh. There's the one. Oh, There's my the people gosh. With the <laughs> That's How cool. How stinking sweet is that? Oh, God. I hope it didn't get too wet. It it's, looks like it's fine. What do you mean? Because I didn't know it was outside in the rain. They left it in the rain. Uh, okay. Is that is cute. cool. We do oh remember talking. <laughs> I want a cool picture with me and a dog. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is really cute. That is cool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You got a picture of yourself. <laughs> that is too cool. All right, here comes Corey. All right. We got something else. We got a, I did open these because I actually knew what these were. But Why? How? Sure. Because he asked me if I liked these, and I said, yeah. Uh, this one's from Kyle Burrow. Yes, Kyle Burrow. He messaged me and said, hey, do you need some street signs? Or actually, he said, Kind of send you a gift or something, and then we got talking about street signs. But these are the signs Kyle sent me. Oh, that's cool. Garage sale. You could have used this the other day for your garage yeah, sale. Yeah, I could have. Out by the road. Hannah would have definitely had that. <laughs> oh, my I, gosh. I, I am see, putting that. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, that is cool. I am putting this one um, where all the farm trucks are. That way I can be like, all right, no more, Corey. You got to fill the other lot. I'm going to be the flagger. I, okay, I... I said I seen them, but I did see the garage sale one, but I haven't opened it up enough to see the lock close one. But no, you are not using that. Yes, I, I pay my property taxes and I will park that. <laughs> <laughs> now you better go get Patrick's. His is really cool. Um, well, there we I don't know where it's at. Hold on. It's in here. Hit pause. Did you get the other thing? Okay. We'll get it there. Oh, jeez, jeez, okay. I'll do this one. Okay. I don't know what I'm getting down. All right, anyways, this is from Mr. Patrick. He's been a follower of ours for a while. We met him at Beatersville when Beatersville was at the Bullet County Fairgrounds, actually. And he had a little D100, which we had, and I loved ours. Yeah. And then he has one. Patrick, you better be working on that thing. Yeah, so uh, Patrick actually bought a uh, 57 Chevy wagon. Him and his dad bought it, and um, yeah, they got it. It was, it was kind of a project, so now it's kind of a parts car, I think. But Patrick sent us this potato chip uh, little tin thing, and I, I know why he sent it, because it's Hannah's color. Yeah, <laughs> and it will be in the kitchen. Because yeah, it's been, I, it's been in the kitchen. I just went and got it. Yeah, I want to do our kitchen like a retro theme, 
but I hate painting and I even got the bathroom done so don't think I'm gonna get the kitchen done anytime <laughs> well so. that's why I have it started um this baby's really on there but I probably have potato chips it had this, didn't it? Yeah, it didn't. Did. It did. Okay. And then he sent this cute little thing. I don't know if you can, I don't even know if that's in the camera. Let me see. Um, yeah, but there we go. So this cute little guy is, um, it was in the potato chips. So that's why there's none in there. There. That's why there's none in there. Cause this little guy ate them all. Yeah. So Patrick, we appreciate you. And um, these are just the coolest, yeah, coolest things. Really cool. I mean, we always say we appreciate you guys. Um, we really do appreciate everyone who watches, who follows along, who cares enough. Hope you're excited as we are because we drove the mouse trap. Like we said, <laughs> yes, yeah, some of you guys might be watching and say, well, it better be driving. You've been seven months it, on it. It's been too long. I know we should have sped things up on this thing. We try to take you guys along on as much as we can. And yes, it's taken us seven, eight months to build this thing. But we only work on it two days a week usually. I two mean, days a week is all this car gets worked on. So I guess if you add it up, it ain't horrible. But if I was to do it differently, I would try to get all the parts here at one time. But this stuff costs money. Like the brakes on this thing, you got five hundred dollars in brakes. I am self-employed, so I have to make sure I, you know, make sure the power is paid, and we got to make sure the water is paid, and then what, what the money we have left goes into the car. So it's not like we're some rich YouTubers building a car with unlimited amount of money. I mean, we are the average people building this car when we got time and when we got money. But we do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, we will see you either Friday or Sunday. We're still on the fence if we're going to do a Friday video or a Sunday video. Um, we I just don't know. Don't know. We're, Sunday would give us more time because I do work Wednesday through Saturday normally. Um, but I've been taken off on the weekend, so they ain't been putting me on the schedule. So hopefully I'll have Saturdays off. Yeah, so uh, we do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys. I don't know, let's, I don't know, either Friday or Sunday. I'm not going to say Friday because <laughs> then if I don't make Friday, I'm not going to say Sunday. We'll see you either Friday at 6 we'll or Saturday We'll see you again six. soon. Yeah, but have a great night. Uh, happy 4th of happy July. Happy 4th of July. And we're going to go swimming or go do something, but see you guys later. I need a, hey, if we could just get you to sit down, you'll feel much better. And you will feel so much better, Buckley. Don't leave me. Spray him down with the hose so he cools off. Well, I, if he would just sit down in here. Sit him down. Buckley, it's like a, a hot tub. Body, body sit. dunk him. Sit. <laughs> sit down, Buck. Sit. Sit down, buddy. Sit. <laughs> sit down. Hey, sit down, buddy. All right, date night in the 59. Hannah's looking beautiful, and I'm just the average dork that don't deserve her with my square oh, body gosh. shirt. Oh, gosh. What a you looking too good for me. I'm worried. I look like an old lady trying to be a cute young girl. Yeah, right. But, um, date night, 4th of July. We're gonna we're... drive the mouse trap. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She, I asked her tonight, I said, what do you want to take to dinner? She said the mouse trap. I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm probably, probably ain't going to make it down the driveway again. He's looking at you. Yeah. He says, oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Pain about just got ran over. <laughs> so it is 4th of July weekend. So happy 4th well, of July. It's just 4th of July, babe. It's, it's not just the death that the car moved out, moved out of the shop on its own power. That's a success for me. Um, we got to fix a few things. We got a uh, body bolt or a suspension bolt hit in the body. We gotta fix that and, um, oh, the front wheels are a definitely must. We ain't gonna go nowhere yeah. without that. So, worst case scenario, I'll start it right here. What? what is up guys, welcome back. So, to get this thing started, what's up guys, welcome back. 
Hold on, Diane. What are you doing? You have way too much energy. <laughs>